Libmayer on his way to prison for 10 years after disturbing skeletons come out about his foster son. The left loves to tout the Democratic Party as the paradigm of high moral standards. That they are the ones that are the champions of women's rights, the protectors of children, and the voice of reason against the evil Republicans. Well, they may need to change that slogan considering the sick thing that was just discovered about Seattle's liberal mayor. Seattle Mayor Red Murray has been a thorn in conservatives' side for quite some time with his insane liberal policies. Murray has pushed for a $15 minimum wage hike, approved taxing the rich, pursued Sharia-compliant financing for Muslims, and has levied a tax on diet soda to combat white privilege. Of course, those are all terrible policies to push, but none of them may have been possible if Murray was arrested years earlier for sexual abuse. For months, Murray has been plagued with rumors that he is a sexual predator. In fact, there have been four men that have stepped forward to accuse Murray of sexual abuse. These men all claimed that Murray had sexually abused them in the past, and one man named Del Bob Heckard has filed a lawsuit. Of course, the Liberal mayor has denied the accusations, but it will be hard to fight it after what was just revealed. In a newly unsealed report that was published by the Seattle Times on Sunday, it shows a report written by child welfare officials from 1984. The report was prompted by claims made by Murray's foster son, Jeff Simpson who claimed he was being raped by Murray repeatedly. The Child Protective Services Agency concluded that Murray was guilty of the accusations, but was never arrested. In the professional judgment of this caseworker who has interviewed numerous children of all ages and of all levels of emotional disturbance regarding sexual abuse, Jeff Simpson has been sexually abused by Edward Murray, Child Protective Services caseworker Judy Butler wrote. The caseworker also added that under no circumstances should Murray be allowed to care for any other minors. Prosecutors investigated Murray at the time but chose not to bring charges against him because of Simpson's troubled personality. Here is more from the Seattle Times. A Oregon child welfare investigator concluded that Ed Murray sexually abused his foster son in the early 1980s, leading state officials to assert that under no circumstances should Mr. Murray be certified as a foster parent in the future, according to public records obtained by the Seattle Times. The investigation by Oregon Child Protective Services CPS, of Jeff Simpson's allegations determined them to be valid, meaning the agency believed Murray sexually abused Simpson, the records show. In the professional judgment of this caseworker who has interviewed numerous children of all ages and of all levels of emotional disturbance regarding sexual abuse, Jeff Simpson has been sexually abused by Edward Murray. CPS caseworker Judy Butler wrote in the May 1984 assessment. Murray, elected Seattle's mayor in 2013, last week repeated in an interview with the Seattle Times that he never abused Simpson, and he underscored that prosecutors had decided decades ago not to charge him. Still, the newly disclosed records reveal that a Multnomah County prosecutor withdrew a criminal case against Murray because of Simpson's troubled personality, not because she thought he was lying. It was Jeff's emotional instability, history of manipulative behavior and the fact that he has again run away and made himself unavailable that forced my decision, Deputy District Attorney Mary Tomlinson wrote. We could not be sure of meeting the high burden of proof in a criminal case of proof beyond a reasonable doubt and to a moral certainty. However, this in no way means that the district attorney's office has decided Jeff's allegations are not true. Unlike a criminal case, CPS child abuse investigations determine whether reasonable cause exists, a lower standard of proof than for criminal cases, but still meaning the abuse likely occurred. In Oregon, about 10% of child abuse reports annually have in recent years been damned to be founded. The newly obtained records previously thought destroyed, provide the clearest picture yet of the investigation of Murray, then a paralegal who had worked as a counselor to Simpson and other troubled children. Of course, Murray is denying these accusations, but it is hard to dismiss considering how many people have come forward claiming abuse. Murray's attorney Catherine Heakin is now arguing that the CPS assessment doesn't mean anything.
Oregon's Child Protective Services is supposed to err on the side of believing a child's accusations, she wrote the Times on Saturday. The agency is not responsible for judging sex abuse cases. It merely investigates allegations of sex abuse. In contrast, law enforcement is responsible for determining whether or not a crime may have happened. Here, there was no indictment, no charges filed, no conviction, and no crime. She also accused CPS of stepping over the line by taking the place of law enforcement and the district attorney's office, act as judge and jury without a full vetting and disclosure of the facts that were available to law enforcement in 1984, rewrite history, and mislead the public. It is hard to believe that nothing happened and that all of these men that have come forward are liars. Of course, there are plenty of people out there that make false accusations in order to cash in on a lawsuit, but when there is smoke there is fire. Murray has been accused of not just raping one man when they were children, but several, and this should be investigated. Considering all the disgusting and immoral things that progressive liberals champion and celebrate today, it's hardly surprising that this did not take place. Hopefully, the truth will eventually be revealed and Murray will have to answer for his crimes. Share if you think that Mayor Ed Murray should resign from his position immediately. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.